Hello, my beautiful Leo Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your September 1st through 15th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is the collective. That means it is for all Leo, sun, moon, and rising. That has to do with your natal chart. So if you'd like to have your own reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. Use the code below that's in the little streamer across the bottom and uh, get yourself some savings. It expires the day after Labor Day. So act fast as we move forward in the energy. Let's see what the cards have to say. We have the lovers, Gemini, Major Arcana. It's the energy of the masculine and feminine, whether it's in your alignment as far as bringing you into a place of balance. Uh, the physical body stands for the, the male side. That's your form. That's your physical uh, 3D experience. And then you've got the soul energy of the feminine here that's rising up into the light and connecting that energy. So it is your physical body, your corporal body, and your soul's energy intertwined. Now, if you're in a relationship, this is a divine partnership. And if it's about your business or your what you're doing for a living, this is aligning with your soul's purpose. So very beautiful energy for this Gemini Major Arcana. And then we move right into the Page of Cups, which also may mean that you're in a, a, a new sort of new relationship and you're not ready to tell anybody about it yet. That's holding your feelings to your chest or maybe you're not ready to say the, the magic words to the other person yet, but you're feeling it and you're just hanging in there. This is keeping that information to yourself until it's right time where you know for sure that that's exactly what you want to do. So don't jump the gun on this. Hold it till it's, till it's appropriate because there's nothing like regretting blurting those words out and it not being the right time. So let's move right into the energy and see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. So we have the, the messenger, the page of wands coming in, telling you what action to take and how to move forward. So you are getting the instruction. You have the page of cups where you were holding on to that. And it may be news of a new job. It doesn't have to be about a relationship, but you're, you're keeping that close to your vest. And now you're being told, when and where to take action. It's time for action, and you're being notified of that. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all beautiful Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. And we have the Queen of Cups. So this is being willing to look forward and extend your heart, whether it's in the ability to start something new in, in work or uh, start something new as a new uh, way forward. It is seeing the light is in the clouds here and you're saying, okay, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, but I'm ready to go forward in this energy. So very wonderful energy. That's usually your, your emotions and your feelings are represented by the cups. And this is the energy of being ready to step into the future and leave behind what no longer serves you. This is the seven of swords. This can mean packing and moving for some folks. It's also the energy of releasing old habits or extra stuff. If you've got a, a whole garage full of stuff that needs to be kind of purged, this is that energy releasing. And if it's two weeks notice, then you're ready to go forward in a whole new way. And we have the two of cups, which is soulmate energy. It's also soul ascension energy. And great partnership energy. When you're in this alignment, that means you're in the place where the balance is there and you're absolutely in the kind of Vulcan mind meld is what I call it because you're on the same page moving in the right direction. So this is definitely going with what we've already seen. The Six of Swords says you have the ability to do that and you're being guided. So you don't have to know how to get there. You just have to be able to follow your own internal guidance. 
we have the Eight of Rods, which is charged new opportunities and energies coming in and very uh, big communications, negotiations, and sometimes air travel for some folks. That's the Eight of Rods. With the Queen of Swords, this is the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini Major Arcana, but it also means interviewing and acing it. So if you're if you're planning on doing that kind of change, very much connected to Source and allowing your intuition to guide you. And if you're speaking to a group of people or just the people you're interviewing with, you're going to be able to really be articulate and show them that you actually do have what they're looking for. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden energy. I call this the self-fulfilling prophecy card. And I have an affirmation, of course, that goes with it. And that is, thank you, universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor. And you bring me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. This is where you open the door to the possibilities that the universe can create without you having any prior knowledge. You just have to be open to the ability to create with it. And action. Now we're on the move. This Knight of Wands is very fast moving and it's in your career and finance area. So it looks like there's stuff going on here that's going to take off like a shot. And you're going, it's about time because I've been standing here for a hot minute waiting for the breakthrough. Just hold your horses and don't give up. This is a card that means do not surrender. You're as close as you can get to the breakthrough. So it's going to happen. You just have to be more persistent and stubborn about not letting it go. Do not retreat from this. You don't want to quit five minutes before your miracle, my darlings. And it is your rod's energy, so... Here comes the King of Swords. Now, here's the Queen over here. This is Archangel Michael's energy here. So very valiant energy of being determined and absolutely being backed by the energy of the King of Swords is the Archangel holding you in a place of protection and helping to clear your path as you move forward. High Priestess energy, allowing your soul to guide you, listening to your intuition, and letting go of your resistance. We have to be able to go with the flow when we ask the universe for something and it tries to show us the way. We don't want to turn around and go, oh no, I can't do it like that. You can, and it's possible. You also have support from your soul tribe. These are people who are in your life for many lifetimes, and you them. It is the same, the same energy as an exchange. You support them when they need it. They support you when you need it. It's a wonderful thing to have your tribe available to you, and they are here to support you. They can be family, but they don't have to be. Then we have the Scorpio death card, which is death to the old way. I call this the cosmic garbage man because he comes in and cleans out all the toxic stuff, purifies, cleanses, and resets everything and gives you a brand new beginning. As a slate is cleaned and your way is clear, you may move forward in that beautiful energy with abundance coming in that doesn't have to be paid back. This is the Six of Pentacles, and it's usually a windfall of some kind, and it's a wonderful energy. It could be a huge discount that you get, that you save a lot of money. It doesn't have to be cash on the barrel head. So allow yourself to receive those blessings and the alignments of them, and let's see what we are starting with in our clarifiers. We have the Two of Rods. The two of rods is your way to balance what you believe to be the correct way to go forward. Get the information you can from other people, you know, learn what you can, but then make your choice and stick to it. If you choose someone else's way forward and you don't have a clear vision as to why that's also your uh, agreed path, then you're going to be second guessing yourself the whole time. And both of these end up very close in proximity to the same outcome. So neither is wrong, but it's that mental game you will play with yourself if you don't pick the thing that aligns with you, like in your heart. Because you've got the world in your hand, the sun is rising. So carpe diem, my darlings, it's time to seize the day for real. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. 
We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated here. And hello, Archangel Michael, with this Queen of Cups, moving right into the energy of very powerful, dynamic ability to move forward. This is, again, the air sign king that showed up over here. So you've got him out here two times, which is very wonderful because he's also a good uh a person to have on your team or your you know guardian angels this is the general of the ar angel army so <laughs> he's good to know <laughs> and we have the energy of the devil card now this is the capricorn major arcana it's also the energy of self-sabotage so when you're in the energy of making these changes sometimes we start to waffle and get a little fearful do not let the fear win remember the devil is a liar and you don't have to believe the, the, the fear that it's trying to, in, you know, entice you into to make you feel stuck or trapped or captive. The energy of this devil card, if it's just a Capricorn, it's just a Capricorn. But if it's your self-sabotage, you've got to recognize it and then stop that process and, and, and be able to see it for what it is so that you can just ignore it and move on. Just know that it's a natural reaction and when we make a change that we get the fear. You don't have to live by it, though. And so here, you've got the two of cups here where you're in alignment. And then you've got the three of cups, which is the, a progression, as you well know, into the energy of the seraphim. This is a celebration. So the little bit of fear or this kind of control that somebody may try to throw on to you. See, this is a manipulator, too. It can be a narcissistic person who's trying to manipulate you. You do not have to apply to that energy. Remember, you are the one who's choosing how your life is going to go. And this is an illusion. As soon as you step into this, that falls away. And you're definitely going to want to go for it because there is the world card. So any, any fears that are coming up are not your real fears. And if you're changing jobs, this could be the ex-boss that you're leaving behind or some as somebody that's on, a, on the team that's really just pick, plucking your last nerve. And you're ready to go. So just leave them behind. They can't harm you. And the world card is your upgrade energy. This is the Virgo major arcana, the Aquarius, the Scorpio, the Taurus, and the Leo that are opening this vortex. And the Virgo is dancing through the victory, that beautiful um, wreath. It is a, a bay leaf, but it's a laurel wreath. It's called a bay laurel. And that's what they used to make the, the you know, the beautiful reads out of whenever they would win different battles or celebrate something back in the day. Those were what they used as a celebration. Now, we you started with this queen of cups. Well, now you have the king of cups and you're fully in the energy of communication and negotiation here. So that's a beautiful energy of giving giving a, a, your highest energy to someone or someone giving wanting your highest good and helping you and giving you that energy. And there's the Ace of Rods. So for some people, it's a new relationship. For others, it's a new job. You do have this Queen of Swords down here. So you're still in that acing the job energy, but it's also the air sign energy of Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. That beautiful energy means it's taking root and flourishing. So whether it's a relationship or a job, it's doing all the good. We've got the Three of Pentacles here that's on top of this self-fulfilling prophecy, knowing the universe is conspiring in your favor. And when you know that, when you know that the universe has your back, then you should be putting in exactly the right amount of everything. It's like if you're making a meal and you want to impress people and you want to, them to enjoy your food and, and compliment it and be, you know, have a good time. And, and, and you're going to put in all the right ingredients and the best ingredients, the best that you can can get, right? And that's what this means. Don't half ASS it. Make sure you put in what's supposed to be there and you'll receive double in return for the exchange. And we have, there's the call to action. Here's action. That's the call. This page of rods is giving you instructions on how to proceed. The Ten of Swords, so there's your breakthrough. The Nine of Rods goes into the Ten of Swords, which is the release of feeling like you're being barraged with negativity or that there's a target on your back or that you're just being inundated with 
you know what. So this is the storm passing. The clouds are breaking. You're breaking through that energy of that nine of rods. There's the breakthrough. And here comes the king of swords. And even though you've broken through, you're still in a place of having a little bit of fear because you've you're stepping out of your comfort zone. It's okay. These are all thoughts. You are the one in control. That's the good news. When you're the one thinking the thoughts, you're the one that can stop the thoughts too. So allow yourself to realize, hey, there's no sense in me worrying about anything. I'm doing everything I can and everything's going to come out to my highest good. I, I and, and know that the minute that you step into the position of taking action, this all falls away. It's the previous energy, the, the moment before you step into this, she's dancing through this doorway, but she's scared to death on the way up to the doorway. So you just have to continue and, and have your follow through and, and the fear falls away. It will dissipate. Here's that six of pentacles again that showed up over here. It's confirming again with the abundance that's coming in right along with that high priestess energy. There's the five of cups. It's with your soul family energy. So it's telling you don't dwell on the past too much. Um, maybe you've had some loss in your family recently, or maybe there's been some, some stuff, right? But try not to let that be the dictator of what you're going to do as you go forward. Because if you're busy looking back at what happened and the wounds and the blame and the shame, and no matter whose fault it is, your fault, their fault, doesn't matter. If you're in the place of this, you're not paying attention to what you're creating that's coming next. And if you're not paying attention to what's coming next, then you're not in a place of actively engaging with the with your future. So please make sure that you stop telling the story of woe. And I know it's there, but we don't have to keep going over it and over it and over it. There's a point where we have to lay it down and start fresh and new. And that's what this is saying. And you have the support of your soul tribe to do so. And there's the tower coming right on time with that death card, which is the clearing of this tower's debris as it comes down. This is a big change, uh, literally resetting everything. And sometimes it's pretty scary because it's a whole big drama of, of what you're changing. Now, this may have to do with what's happening in that five of cups energy. But the good news is once this tower comes down, Everything is is wonderfully smooth and you have a new way forward. Nothing's blocking you or holding you captive. So hallelujah, the breakthrough has happened and you are free to move forward with abundance because this is the Ace of Pentacles, which is the underlier of the clarification deck. And it means a solid new foundation of abundance flowing to you in addition to or instead of but absolutely restoring you back to your financial stability. Sorry, had a nice hiccup on that one. That's the energy process. So many blessings to you, my beautiful Leo friends. Uh, you'll be able to move past that, that lingering uh, energy of the, the poison person, whoever that is. You have the clearing and it is happening, even though you feel stuck right now. It looks like it's coming through this fall. So you'll be able to get out of that energy. So the, the, it's just, you know, we have to go through things sometimes in order to come out better off on the other side. And that's exactly what you're doing, my Leos. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I will see you soon. Namaste, my friends.